I was called to diagnose this vehicle. It's having an issue with the charging system. So don't always tr uh, trust your multimeter. So with this one, let's do continuity testing and you will see. So with this one, let me do continuity testing on the system and don't always trust your, con uh, your multimeter whenever you are doing such program. So uh, on this wiring diagram, it tells me the this is 2.3 liter GDI. So my control wire and my monitoring wire is on pin 59 and 26. So now we are on pin 59 at the back of the control board. So we are on pin 26 at the back of the control board. So with this one, we just check continuity testing from the back of the control board, from the back of the control board to the alternator. The alternator has been taken out already. So with this one, I'll probe it back to it. Let me. Okay. So you can see this red wire, which goes back to the control board. So um, when you are doing continuity testing, you should be very careful with your multimeter. So when I place it in uh, and change the pin out, so let me change the pin out to pin to pin one. So you can see the beeping. It's beeping all right, but there is an issue with the vehicle. So you can hear the beeping. So that means from that side to this side, it's beeping all right and everything is okay. So let me go to 26. So 26 will be on this pin. This. 50 there's 49 so 58 there's 50 59 so pin 59 we'll do another continuity test i'll swap the pin to the middle pin and you see the meter is beeping all right which is telling me that i'm having continuity with my test so on you can see on pin two it is beeping which is telling me that there's continue there's continuity on the system so if you just trust your multimeter that much it will lead you to a pit so now what i'll do is you can see so with this one you can hear the beeping sound of the multimeter which is telling me that which is telling me that everything is okay. So now what I'll do is, uh, I have to run this test also. So let me swap the pin. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let me swap the pin. This is the test that you should be doing after doing continuity tests to verify if everything is okay. With this one, uh, the monitoring signal to the control board was bad so with this one what i've done is now i'll be sending so what i've done is now i'll be sending power to this side and i'll ground this side with a load so that i'm load testing the circuit to make sure that uh, my wiring is okay so with this one i'll load test this then switch my multimeter to current it automatically set to current then I'll plug the test lead. I've taken one of the battery leads out. I'll plug the test lead to it. Then you can see that my test light is off. But the moment I feed it with power, my test light comes on. The moment I feed it with power, you can see my test light turns on. So now let me do the second one. So on this pink wire, uh, uh, on this violet wire, that's where I'm getting the test light to turn on. So now let me do the other wire, which is the generator monitoring wire. Let me do that one and see. So I will change the pin out and do that one and see the result. So let me take my current out. And before that, let me pin it here before I'll do that test. So let me put it here. And you can see my test light has turned on whilst I've not gone to the control unit side. So it tells me that there is a shot somewhere here from this point 
to the back of the alternator there is a shot somewhere there which is not from the control board because the control board unit has been taken out and that pin is on pin 59 if you check the wiring diagram it's on pin 59 and my pin is still at pin 60 uh, pin 26 so with this one it tells me that there is a shot somewhere so now I have to find for the shot and from this point I have to find for the battery sensor and with my research with my research there is another battery sensor this battery sensor is for the ground and there is another battery sensor here so what I'll do is uh, let me wiggle the wires so that means you can see so you can see that so with this one you can see that this connector shares the same thing with a battery sensor uh, ge sorry generator current sensor which monitors the current of the uh, power that the generator is sending or the current that the generator the alternator is sending to the control unit or the fuse box so that means they share the same socket so i was fine for that socket and see where the shot is because i've taken the battery positive out so i don't if i take the battery sorry if i take the battery positive out you can see my light is gone so that means the feed is a negative uh, it's a positive feed which the system is getting so you when you come to this side when i check the diagram when you come to this side you can see the second battery sensor for the fuse box and you can see that down there there is a, a bent wire down there so you can see that there is a bent wire let me try and zoom it in zoom it in there is a bent wire down there so the moment I start wiggle that wire because there is the second socket there is the second socket that the sister uh, on the wiring diagram they are talking about so the moment I start shaking this socket you can see that the light will go off you see the light is flicking which means the light is supposed to go off so that means that's where the issue is so what we we'll do now is remove everything there and check how bad the damage is so that we we'll know what to do from there so now what we we'll do now is we have to remove everything in there then see how bad the damage is then we will work on it thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so sometimes it's not always that you have to trust your multimeter or you have to trust your multimeter on the continuity testing. You have to load test the circuit and make sure everything is okay. Because with this car, they've changed the control board and they've changed the alternator, uh, the alternator, but still the problem is persisting. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So now after taking the socket out, you can see the whole bent. Although it was giving us a continuity, uh, we are getting the continuity you can see that the whole wire is bent and there is the alternator wire so you can see the whole wire got bent and there is the alternator one so you can see that all the wires got bent so so now we can fix it this way and test the car and everything will be okay so the problem is on this line. So you have to trace the line and make sure you know why it got bent and what actually is it. So we trace it and know where actually it goes. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.